you may recall that after the successful and peaceful conduct of elections in the three states of the Northeast, just early this year, it is now time to move to the southern part of the country. What a stark difference in terms of geography, culture, and varied challenges that we have in two different sets of uh, states where we are doing the elections. The challenges in Northeast were very different than what we have in Karnataka. And, but what remains consistent and constant is our commitment to deliver a free, fair, transparent, and inducement-free election. So be it Northeast, South, across the length and breadth of the country, we are committed to do it. And you may recall that the challenges in the recently held elections were more in terms of controlling the violence, handling the tough topography, making the logistical arrangements, making machines move, the electoral machinery move. Whereas in Karnataka, the challenges are of a different nature, which I will elaborate. Well, you eagerly must be waiting for the schedule state way, but just give me 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to uh, tell you the basics profile. The term of Karnataka Legislative Assembly is till 24th of May 2023. So we have to complete the entire process before that. There are 224 assembly constituencies, of which 36 are reserved for the SC, SCs and 15 are reserved for the STs. Let me just also tell you the electors' profile in the state, because a healthy electoral roll is a prerequisite and a foundation for any election uh, activity and an exercise. Total electors in the states are 5.21 crores of which male electors are 2.62 and female electors are around 2.59, almost equal. And during the ex SSR exercise which we completed, the commission laid uh, special emphasis on the, as I have been repeatedly saying, on the inclusive part of the electoral roll and also the human part of the election. What does it entail? It means we laid a special emphasis on registration of new age voters between 18 to 19 years, women, transgenders, persons with disabilities, and also in uh, Karnataka on the particularly vulnerable tribal groups who are the disadvantaged groups. If you look at any human uh, development indices, the particularly vulnerable tribal groups are the one who are at the lowest of the ladder. So we said we'll have a special outreach. I'll uh, touch on that in one of the slides. The role gender ratio in the state stands at 988, which is very healthy. And uh, the copies of the electoral rules, including the process by which it was prepared, have all been shared with the political parties. And uh, the involvement was at every stage. So friends, senior citizens and PWDs, as we have been putting a special emphasis on this part, and it's, it's <coughs> important in case of Karnataka because it will happen first time in Karnataka. The total number of 80 plus uh, electors is 12.15 lakhs. So you would see that it's a increase of 32% from the 2018. And they also includes 16,976 proud electors who are 100 plus. We'll be having a special outreach for all of them. The persons with disabilities, as you would see a sharp increase because of our focus, has increased to 5.55 lakhs. This is an increase of close to 150% over 2018. And you may ask me how it has happened. It's the social justice departments of the states give scholarships to various persons with disabilities. We also collected data from them so that, you know, we can have an outreach. We can go to their houses and have a special outreach to persuade them to facilitate them to become our voters. And uh, this is the result of that. And through your medium, we would like to welcome them, pay our gratitudes to all the senior citizens and the persons with disabilities, transgenders, to please come and participate in all, with all vigor 
in the election uh, and 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 we are having a special uh, attempt for that which includes that for the first time this uh, facility for uh, voting from home would be available in karnataka to the 80 plus voters and also to the persons with disabilities it has been a very successful and very reassuring and very uh, happy experience for all of us in the commission to just uh, report through you in recently five state elections which we have had recently himachal gujarat tripura uh, meghalaya and nagaland over 73200 persons with disabilities and 80 plus senior citizens we have been able to go to their house and take their votes i mean for one vote three to four persons go all the political parties are informed it's videographed so that secrecy is not uh, compromised but it is worth the effort the it puts a pressure on the administration on the ramps toilets uh, electricity i am sure that and hopefully in this election the time is still there till the elections polling stations are prepared whatever one or two percent in each category is left we have emphasized to the state government for which we have got a uh, quite firm uh, assurance that they will try and convert 100 percent facilities in all these schools on a permanent basis and if this happens which i'm sure which we are all sure would happen that's a goal to aspire for for the elections coming during the current years in the late later this year and also the general election so friends now coming to the urban apathy this is one area as i said that in karnataka the areas of concerns would be different so urban apathy is one and uh, money power is another which will come to after this so in urban apathy the total voter turnout in the state is 72.4 in uh, 2018 against this as you know the overall country if you look at the 2019 general elections to jo 20 top ke uh, constituencies hain jinme sabse kam voting hui unme se 9 urban area mein iske naam yahan diye hain main pad jada nahi padhna chahta but they are in the top 20 and if you look at the karnataka to jahan 72% voting hai wahan बेंगलोर के साउथ नॉर्थ सेंट्रल और बंगलोर में वो वोटिंग काफी कम है 57, 51, 53, 55, 57 एज अगेन 72। एंड अनदर डिस्टर्बिंग ट्रेंड इज दैट इट इज रिड्यूसिंग इवन फ्रॉम द अर्लियर इलेक्शन 2013 इलेक्शन इट वाज इवन मोर इन 2013, इट इज रिड्यूस्ड इन 2018। सो व्हेन वी वेंट देयर वी डिड वी डिड कॉल large number of universities students and talk to them and then we also decided that in addition to the awareness activities like the electoral literacy clubs and the voluntary action forums we'll also do a because the karnataka and bangalore happens to be the knowledge city and the it city of the country so why don't we take advantage of their expertise so we we, we requested the it sector and through you we want to thank that uh, iasc came forward and they are doing an electhon instead of hackathon we are saying it electhon for what they say we are saying that how to enhance the participation of urban and youth can we techni technologically connect to them more can we do outreach in a different way and how to ensure the registration of new voters more and more we don't have to work so hard is there a problem with our uh, software is there a way we can motivate them to do it how can from the universities uh, or from the colleges schools rather from the 12th almost everybody becomes 18 12 years 12th class when you pass plus 5 if you add to so mostly 17 17 and a half and 18 so aap vote to dena shuru kar rahe hain but aapko ek commitment ki zarurat hai so electron is uh, electron may have ye bhi rakha hai ki devise a solution that how can it boost voter turnout on the election day aur uska bhi ek method humne aur apnaya hai wo bhi aapko main abhi aage bataunga ye 
कितने इंस्टीट्यूट हमारे साथ इसमें जुड़ गई हैं इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टार्टअप लार्ज नंबर ऑफ आई टी प्रोफेशनल्स सो वी आर थैंकफुल टू ऑल ऑफ देम एंड फोर्टी सेवन परसेंट एव एडेड टू टू ऑन ऑन वर्किंग ऑन हाउ टू डू दी रजिस्ट्रेशन फ्री समा वर्किंग इजिली समा वर्किंग विद अस ऑन हाउ टू मेक द यूथ टर्न आउट ऑन द डे ऑफ अलेक्शन सो दिस रिजल्ट वी विल अगेन शेयर विद एवरीबडी वेन इट कम्स द सोल्यूशन वेन दे आर गिविन एंड नीट एंड 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 जो आने वाले इलेक्शन है उसके लिए हम लोग समझते हैं कि ये एक हमें ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी या ऐसी आउटरीच बताएगा जो उनकी समझ में आती है बिकॉज इट्स ए प्लेस वेयर यू हैव मोस्ट ऑफ द एजुकेटेड यूथ एंड एंड दर्बन एरिया एज रिगार्ड्स दैंडिडेट्स यू आर ऑल अवेयर जस्ट टू रिपीट द सेम थिंग नो योर कैंडिडेट एंड द एफिडेविट्स all this are available on the through the technology knowing the candidate is possible through the know your candidate application and for political parties uh, this applications are uh, helping them to file the nominations online and to also apply for the entitlements which they have in terms of uh, passes or in terms of booking the grounds for the election rallies etc and it is all strictly everyone has been uh, instructed to follow first in first out principle jisne pehle apply kiya uska digital trail usme rahega aisa nahi ki apply ek party ne kiya aur aapne dusri party ko jagah de di nahi it is a fair and level playing field which they have to ensure c vigil app uh, ki kafi prachar karnataka ke election mein kiya hai because ye wahan bahut relevant hai because what new challenge we found in karnataka is in addition to the youth and urban apathy is the money power so this is being popularized a lot and i'll share with you even before mcc what had happened mcc will come in force from today but when we went there i'll show you just because of uh, the uh, our sincerity on this subject and telling the district uh, officials and enforcement agencies what is the result i'll show you that so before coming to that the just to uh, narrate that in recently held elections uh, total number of polling stations are given here and there was no repolling so we want to carry forward this uh, uh, trend no violence no repolling and no no or or evm bhi bach gayi unko bhi gali wali zyada nahi padi so matlab usi cheez ko aage badhane te hue humne wahan kafi koshish ki hai ki jitne bhi polling stations hain unme aap aise processes ko apnayenge district magistrates are on the job that they make the experience for the voter very good so that they are in, they are they are they are encouraged to come and some are working even on applications where if we can tell in advance the the queue so that you can plan your visit to the polling station and avoid distending on the thing this is also a work in progress the seizures in the earlier in these five elections just to tell you the uh, kind of uh, rigor and emphasis jo elections ko inducement free karane mein kiya ja raha hai panch elections jo abhi hoke chuke hain unme 18 aur 17 mein jo isse pehle hue the 43 crores ke against mein 1028 crores ka seizure tha and isme drug seizures because we are saying liquor drug money freebies and drug in particular because wo puri ki puri society ko aur bachcho ko kharab karne ki unme chhamta hai so all enforcement agencies we have said that there is a absolute uh, strict vigil you have to have on movement of any kind of uh, material which can induce the elections and fairly and i'll show you what has happened we are strengthening our teams in karnataka to curb the misuse of money power from 
1,900 in 2018, we are increasing to 2,400. These are the teams which will have the sensitive constituencies, expenditure observers we are increasing, assistant observers, flying squads. And all to put extra pressure and make it clear to all political parties and candidates that money power they have to just zero tolerance which we are showing from ourselves and just to tell you that um, the state has 19 districts total 171 interstate check posts uh, are being operationalized for this purpose where excise department commercial tax department police department and even the forest department in areas where the forests are there and there are check posts there they may not be the uh, highways or the stateways, but there are the points of entry. All places there would be a strict vigil. And nudging towards ethical elections, there are there are uh, uh, exercises which are being done with the uh, awareness which is being done. Say, for instance, this is by the commercial department. And just to tell you, it's another when we talked about it in Nagaland from civil society. There were groups formed in the villages and villagers came out resisting anybody who was uh, trying to bribe the voters in the villages. We'll, this, I, I, I keep, I, I'm repeating it here just to encourage and thank those uh, citizens who have helped us in uh, curbing the menace of uh, money power. And you see, we have directed all the enforcement agencies, which include the state police, the state excise, narcotics, uh, coast guards, ED, airport authority, state level committees, bankers committee. What is their role? Just in brief, jitne airports hain wahan, aur jitne lending uh, air strips hain, even choppers, they will all, all, all lendings will be checked, so that there is no way that they can be used for movement of any kind of uh, uh, what you call the money or something. Isi tarah se jo check posts or special highways which have been identified and go-downs, go-downs which are in, uh, stay in under the commercial taxes department, warehouses, liquor, all have been mapped so that there is no increase or a trend of goods coming there. Similarly for freebies, eBay, bill, eBay bills are being checked to see in any particular district if there is an increase of the material getting entry to those particular districts. SLBC, we have also banned, requested all the banks, directed them actually, that no movement of the vans which carry cash to fill the ATMs will happen during the late hours. So that they cannot be used at times such vans are used for carrying cash all that has been stopped in terms of um, what happened in uh, karnataka after we, our last visit which was see just some pictures even mcc has not come into force and this is across the parties freebies cash liquor all that have been started already having been seized and it is already crossed almost what was seized during the elections last time and I'm, i want to thank the district uh, administration and enforcement agencies on this because having by and large tackled the issue of muscle power in the elections this is now the focus and the time that we handle the money power also. And before MCC comes into being, because we have said that why do you see the MCC? You have to see the IPC of the section. If someone is bribe for voters, if someone is coming to the candidate, 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 so, usko seize karke, us par criminal case karne ke liye MCC ki zarurat kyun hai? And thankfully, all of them have responded, and we are sure that this will peak now, 
and again through your medium we want to say that citizens also help us by using sea vigil more and more and it is our guarantee that in 100 minutes we will not only reach there we will also report back saying as to what had happened so friends now coming to what you have been waiting for the schedule for the karnataka assembly elections for 2023 would be like this the gazette notification would be issued on 13th of uh, april last date of making nominations would be 20th of april date of scrutiny would be 21st april 2023 after that the withdrawal of the candidature can be up to 24th of april the polling will take place on 10th of 5 in single phase and day of counting would be 13th of may so this is the schedule for the karnataka elections there are also some by elections which are uh, due uh, in the country in various uh, legislative assemblies and parliamentary constituency so we are uh, uh, simultaneously announcing the by elections also so the by elections will take place for the assembly for the assembly in uh, odisha jhar sugda in up in suar upac 34 395 chennai in up soyong in meghalaya in 23 and also in the parliamentary constituency number four in Jalandhar, Punjab. So this will fill up all our vacancies till February 2023. So this is the schedule. And I once again, before ending, through the friends from media, I want to appeal to all the voters of Karnataka, young urban areas, rural area, PBTGs, women, transgender, PWDs, senior citizens, to please come forward and take part in the festival of democracy. Thank you very much.